Hey everyone, this is Richard at Food Works and More. We got a real simple one for you today. We're gonna make a Thai noodle soup. You get the fresh crunch of the vegetables, a little bit of pasta, and some vegetable broth. Simple to make, serve it with some pot stickers or egg rolls, and you got lunch. Let's get started, shall we? There's a lot of chopping and shredding that goes into the veggie prep for this soup, so rather than bore you with watching me slice and dice, I had my lovely wife and sous chef, one and the same by the way, prep the veggies for me. Let's begin by heating two tablespoons of olive oil with one tablespoon of butter in a large pot over medium high heat. We add the butter for flavor and the olive oil not only adds flavor, but it has the added benefit of raising the smoking point of the butter so you don't have to worry about the butter burning. As the butter melts, stir it with the olive oil to blend them together. Once the oil and butter mixture is hot, Add two cups of shredded cabbage, two stalks of celery chopped, two carrots peeled and julienne, and four green onions chopped, or scallions if you're from the East Coast. We're just going to sweat the veggies so they start to release some of their sugars, but still remain crisp. If you saute them, they'll get too soft. So cook them, stirring frequently, for about five to seven minutes. Next, we add two tablespoons of peeled and chopped fresh ginger, two tablespoons of soy sauce, one tablespoon of garlic chili paste, and one tablespoon of brown sugar. Stir everything together until it's completely mixed. Once everything is evenly distributed, add four cups of vegetable stock, or if you prefer, you can also use chicken stock. When the soup starts to simmer, reduce the heat to medium low. Now for those of you who've been to college and were strapped for cash, you're probably all too familiar with the ramen noodle packages. It can make for an inexpensive meal. Included in your package of ramen noodles is a flavor packet. We've already seasoned the soup, so only add half of the flavor packet into the soup. Next, we're going to add the noodles. I like to break them up into quarters before adding it. If you break it up too much, it'll just turn to shreds when it cooks. As the noodles cook, use a spoon or spatula to break apart the noodle cake pieces. Let the soup continue to simmer until the noodles are just tender. Do not overcook them or your soup will get mushy and no one likes a mushy soup. This smells amazing. Once the noodles are tender, season the soup with salt and pepper. Be careful when seasoning this soup with the salt. The garlic chili paste and half of the flavor packet we added already contain salt, and if you season your soup liberally with salt, you may end up with a soup that tastes a bit like the ocean. I always season mine with just pepper. Can you believe how fast we made this soup? Let's see how we did. Okay. Let's see how we did here. Mmm. Excellent flavor. The vegetables uh, still have a bit of a crunch to them. You got the pasta in there. Very flavorful, and you saw how simple it was to make. So, if you like this recipe, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. For this recipe and more, you can visit my website at foodworksandmore.com. This is Richard, and we'll see you next time.